you find out that it is little effort with great result. This is not about Christianity as a religion because I'm tired of having this time I am complaining of this neck pain, this time of this waist pain. Why I am still young and it's now my skin is getting better. I not try it exciting, I can lie, but it is not for everyone. It is not for the weak. It is not for babies. hey guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on wherever you're watching this video from you're welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing this face for the very first time my name is Tobolaifa Amani Daniels aka Miss Lamarni and I make videos on entrepreneurship beauty and general lifestyle and if you're a returning subscriber love you so much and god bless you so on today's video i'll be diving into a very special topic titled intentional living in the year 2024 of course so yeah this video is basically about ensuring that your 2024 is purposeful so buckle up because this year is all about purpose growth and thriving together so let's dive into the topic guys so tip number one in ensuring that you live an intentional life is putting god first now the foundation of intentional living starts with putting god first in the year 2024 it's important that we align our actions with our faith yes it's important that all our dreams and aspiration is first backed up with the word of god it's important that we let god know all that we have in store all that we have planned out for this year we cannot do things on our own now the bible says seek ye first the kingdom and every other thing will be added seek ye first so when you let god be the champion of all your dreams and aspirations you find out that it is little effort with great results so we don't want to be in the category of people that struggles and we have all of these plans and goals planned out for the year and we are doing it without god being part of it so all i am trying to say let's ensure that all that we are doing this year jesus is involved with it he is he's first put on the know before anybody else now this goes beyond christianity as a religion but basically about strengthening your pers your personal relationship with the father okay now this goes as little as gratitude you know having a prayer plan acts of kindness you know ensuring that you don't miss services this year at least so let's try and prioritize strengthening our relationship with God this year. It's very easy to like do life seamlessly because I have God living inside of me. Let God be the champion of our goal and be our inspiration. So this year, fam, let's inspire ourselves spiritually. Let us do better with our relationship with God. Like I said initially, this is not about Christianity as a religion, but basically about our personal relationship with the Father. Let it be better than it was last year. What I always do is that whatever dream or whatever new project I have, I talk to God about it before even putting it up on social media or before voicing it to anybody. Jesus knows first before anybody else knows. And I ask him, is this when is the right time? How do I do this? How do I do that? Whenever I need ideas, I need things, I ask God. And it is so amazing how the relationship is. So basically, let our relationship with God this year be better. Let the bond be stronger than it was the previous year. So yeah, if I'm the second tip for ensuring that you live an intentional and purposeful life in the year 2024 is focusing on self-care. Now fam, this is a crucial aspect of intentional living because this year we need to learn to prioritize our mental, emotional and physical health. This is something that cannot be overemphasized. Year to year we keep hearing cases of depression, 
you know, people are getting sick. Let's learn to start practicing mindfulness, regular exercise, words of affirmation, taking yourself out, caring for yourself, loving yourself, practicing selfishness. Yes, it's okay to be selfish, but do it the right way. At the end of last year, I already went on a skincare journey. I now have a routine. January has started. I am trying to now have a workout routine also this is for my physical health now okay because i'm tired of having this time i am complaining of this neck pain this time of this waist pain why i am still young and it's important that i start working out and it's also a form of self-care when you do it the right way you do it in a way that will be fun and loving and it won't be like a chore for you so like all of this needs to be properly planned and coordinated so that you don't get burned out and you feel like, oh, I am trying to care for myself, but it is a struggle. So let's learn to do things the proper way. Find out time to take yourself out. Go have a drink, sit out and clear your head. Go see a movie. These are acts of self-care. Probably putting your space in order so that you know that oh, your home is your sanctuary and whenever you get home, you're happy that, oh, I am home. It feels comfortable. It feels really nice to be in your space. So, like, whatever you know that will make you happy and loved, do it for yourself. Learn work-life balance. You cannot overwork yourself and not have a self-time, like a me-time. What I started doing is daily words of affirmation, meditation, and sometimes just taking a walk, taking a stroll, like cultivating this... um well-being mindset being cautious of what you eat what you drink these are acts of self-care so like I, I just mentioned words of affirmation i started saying really nice things to myself so mornings i just let myself know how beautiful i am how i'm glowing how my skin is getting better how i'm how i'm brave how i'm strong how i'm full of wisdom you know i let myself know that I am, that I am who God says I am. So like these are very important things that we feel or that we even neglect. But in 2024, we should do better and we should really, really, really prioritize self-care. I'm on this journey and I know you can too. And this would really make, make your 2024 better. So on to the third tip. Now tip number three is investing in ourselves. Let me see very well. Guys, let's talk about investing in ourselves. This might go as little as acquiring a new skill. Probably pursuing your education. If you have BSc, you can further it by going for a master's degree or probably taking calculated risk in your career there are certain things that probably you're a certain level in your career and you know that trying this new thing or probably chasing a certain contract or a certain client might might add a feather to your heart in your in your company. Why not try it? This year, don't be comfortable at the level that you're in. No pressure but there's always a higher life and that should be the goal to take that leap of faith let's aspire to also be in a new level i'm a management major but that's not all there is about it so like i went for other courses that i know that if i applied for a job and someone else applies for the same job because of these other extra qualifications that I have attached to my degree, I will be picked. So these are little tiny details that people don't understand. Let's learn to prepare for opportunity in the year 2024. It's not everything that you see, it is the devil. Certain things we have to we have to wake ourselves up. Prepare for opportunities. Go for little, little, tiny courses that will aid 
whatever degree we have. I urge you guys to massively invest in yourselves professionally and personally. If you're a makeup artist, go for open classes. Most makeup artists are lash technicians and probably brow artists. They go to learn these things so that they might not necessarily want to be the one to personally do it because they can be workloads with a um, makeup client. But when you, you hire a lash technician or probably a brow artist that is there, you know the job. I'm this kind of person that if I have a, a worker or a staff in a particular position, I like when I know the job more than you do because I am I am too much of a team leader. So that thing gets to me, not like I'm, I might know it all, but like as an interior designer or probably as a, as a um, fashion designer also. There was, a, there was a certain level in my life as a fashion designer where I had tailors, but I don't know what they do. So like I was at, I was, I was at a place of subjects and I never liked that. So what did I do? I learned. I got on YouTube, I soft, I took online courses so that why I could I can be better. It wasn't like they had any issue, but there was a level I wanted to operate on that I wasn't and I did not like it. I knew how a dress was supposed to be on a client's body. But when I tried correcting them, they feel that oh well, you can't you don't know how we came about this, so you can't really see this is how it was supposed to be. So what am I trying to say? Learn to be a team leader this year. And how can you be a team leader if you're not informed? So by all means, ensure that you get informed professionally and personally. Up your game. Add a feather to your heart relating to whatever profession you're into. Invest in yourself this year greatly and thank me later i know how much i have grown since i enrolled in that course last year like i just knew that i can walk into any room and they won't blink twice to pick me for the job i can apply for any job and i will get it so that is the confidence you have when you put god first and when you invest in yourself so this year my hands are like this Invest in yourself like never before. You don't have to pay. You can go online and read online. Investing in, in yourself takes money. But if finance is the issue, there are a lot of free courses. YouTube is also a free website where you learn a whole lot of things for free. So you have to start from somewhere. This year, it is time to invest in the most valuable assets. And that is you. That is me. This is us. You're the most valuable asset. You're worth it. So please invest in yourself lavishly. So guys, I saved the best for the last. I know that you'll be like, today she hasn't mentioned anything re relating to money or business or anything. I saved the best for the last, which is starting a business this year start a business farm the world of entrepreneurship is exciting i can't lie but it is not for everyone it is not for the weak it is not for babies now i would advise you watch this video so that you would understand where i'm coming from so back to the main drill have you ever thought about starting your own business because 2024 is the perfect time, actually, for you to turn those dreams into reality. Now, I reserve the best for the last because this involves a whole lot of energy, strength, drive. You have to be motivated to want to start a business. I know a lot of people who aren't passionate about business. Now, this last tip isn't for everybody. Because not everyone is born to be an entrepreneur and not everyone likes to be an entrepreneur. And I am a preacher of do what you love. Ensure that whatever you're going into, you have passion about it. So this tip, if you're not passionate about business, 
you can just let it slide it is not for you so for those who has always wanted to start a business but don't know how this is a perfect time this is a perfect year. this is january and ensuring that you plan your year january is not over at least you have a few days to start having a structured plan for what type of business you want to run how you would run it when how much capital is involved this is the time to sit down and go to your drawing board to plan and strategize why do i encourage people to start a business this is because it is a stream of wealth i encourage people to start a business or two because these are streams of wealth now i run several businesses and at some point the day is not coming from a it's coming from b the day is not coming from b it's coming from c now what is my plan this year as someone who has several businesses and there is no constant flow from each stream but i have flow from each stream periodically my plan now this year is to ensure that there's a certain piece of inflow this year so that would be a topic for another day but what I am trying to say is that this year, ensure that you do not have just one stream of income. You should have at least two to three streams of income. If you are a nine to fiver, you cannot solely depend on your salary. You have to have a side stream. Now, let's assume you are a nine to fiver, a career driven person. Now, statistics shows that a higher amount of people who has corporate jobs still have businesses they still have businesses like i mentioned initially you mustn't run a business but your money can actually work for you so i will link a video up here for those who want to start a business and you're trying to figure out how to go about it that is not a guide on how to start a business but if you want to go into a business and try to watch this video so that you know what you're getting into. And for those of you that are not really interested into running a business, you can invest your money. There are a lot of organizations that are looking for investors. You put in your money there and you get returns rather than stockpiling your money somewhere and it's just there and doing nothing for you. So fam, that's the game changer. Let's be super intentional to evolve this year so guys i get a lot of messages about oh amani i want to start a business i'm confused i don't know what kind of business to start i want to start a business but i don't have capital or oh, i have capital but i don't know what type of business to start if i start a business what's the market like am i going to make profits how do i brand this how do i do this how do i go about this i get a lot of business related messages like this what type of logo will be good for my business some people don't even have a color for their brand and it is fine guys i run a business management consulting company it is called evolve with lamani fit you can find us on instagram kindly send us a dm we are only accepting dms from now i'm here for you guys and i'm grateful at the level and confidence you have in me relating to entrepreneurship related issues i am very grateful for your trust and confidence so yeah kindly send us a dm on instagram we go as far as sourcing for your product and branding those products so yeah that's how far we go so it doesn't matter the kind of business you want to start we are here for you we have vendors across nigeria and outside the shores of this country so yeah Check us out. It's a branding and business development company. We help you grow your business from scratch. That is what we are there for. Yeah, fam, this concludes our journey into an intentional living in 2024. Now, if this resonates with you in any way, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't and kindly hit the notification bell share your intentions below let's learn how you plan to you know or how you've even started living an intentional life let's learn from each other and build a community dedicated to growth faith and purpose 
very important so fam it was great talking to you guys don't forget to put god first this year it is something that cannot be overemphasized and let's learn to focus on self-care love yourself like nobody else can thoroughly like i highlighted invest in yourself personally and professionally then lastly start a business start that business and create streams of wealth for yourself and your generation for those who are not interested in running a business who are not ready for the whole stress and you know the whole hustle and bustle that comes with running a business you can invest and get returns so guys thank you so much for staying here till now don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i'll definitely 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 be seeing you on my next video bye for now and i love you guys so much Bye.